Hello there, my beautiful collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's going on, collective? Oh, I noticed that four cups there at the split. Oh, collective. Have you been having four cups show up in your readings a lot? I love that for a lot of you. That four cups energy. Put you at a beautiful preface. Precipice. Look at that. Eight of Pentacles, High Priestess energy. Page of Wands, Scorpio, Magician energy, Hangman energy right here. Judgment, the World, Three of Swords. Mm. Emperor energy, Aries at the bottom, Ace of Cups, Nine of Swords, the Fool energy, King of Swords, King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Eight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Oh, oh, collective, collective, collective. What is going on here? Whew. A lot of choices, a lot of transformative energy. Uh, a lot of you looking at things from a whole different perspective. Eight of Pentacles there with the High Priestess energy. Trusting your gut, your guidance, your intuition. A lot of you, it's a good opportunity for change up. So, you know, uh, applications, resumes, whatever you got going. Ace of Cups here. Loving yourself, giving to yourself. It is a celebratory energy as well. Nine of Swords, uh, sort of the energy around you. Uh, the Fool possible outcome energy with the king of swords making smart decisions <sighs> looking at things from a different perspective over here king of pentacles queen of swords eight of swords with the knight of pentacles what sort of has kept you sort of stuck this king of pentacles queen of swords a lot of you are wanting to move forward and very beautiful energy. Eight of uh, Pentacles there, High Priestess energy, trusting your gut, your guidance, your intuition. Uh, high Priestess energy feels like uh, HR energy, good opportunity, uh, advancement energy as well, right? If you look at the Hierophant as being like boss energy, the High Priestess uh, being in the same sort of boss energy. Trusting your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. There is some stagnation here for a lot of you at that page of wands because there could be some new opportunities. This king of pentacles, this knight of pentacles is that sort of stuck grounded energy. Some of you, are you ready for the growth? Are you ready for the change? Are you ready to try something new? You've been doing a sort of transformative energy with the Scorpio, the world, the magician You've been wanting to sort of make that change, to change things up. Uh, judgment energy right there. A lot of you, it's it's upgrade in energy. It's upgrade in your work. It's upgrade in what you do. Focusing on it. The fool taking the risk, right? Uh, jumping in there and trying something new. Especially if you've been sort of stuck in this sort of rut energy right here. With the king of pentacles, queen of swords, eight of swords with the knight of pentacles. Uh, some of you probably feel like it's time to move on, to move forward, to try something new. But where do you go? What do you want to do? When do you want to get there? How do you want to get there, right? Well, the, the five W's. Who, what, when, where, why. Focusing on you. This three of swords. Mm. The crown on that is just everything is fine. So there could be some complacency uh with you collective that you're trying to sort of figure out uh someone's definitely going to miss you if you go that's for damn sure especially when it comes to what you did for work mm. Ace of Cups is like promotion energy, celebratory energy around you, collective. So you got the Emperor, 
to the Knight of Swords. Yeah, some of you are moving up, switching up, you're changing up. It's time for a change. Some of you are making that change. So there's not a whole lot of stress energy around you. Once you sort of decided what you wanted and how you're going to get it, then you're just focusing on that. Some of you could be getting a counter offer to keep you from taking this opportunity. So think about that. Ace of Swords, you got the Seven of Cups, or the Seven of uh, Swords, Seven of Cups, Six of Swords to the Queen of Pentacles. This is boss ass energy moving up. Boss ass energy moving up. There is some celebratory energy around this as, as well. 33, Four of Pentacles, you hung in there. New opportunities, new potential for growth. Some of you, new people, places, and things to work with. Oh, wow. What are you going to do? What are you going to choose? Some of you are definitely going to have to schedule your time. Right? This upgrade in energy. So you're going to have to figure out a good work-life balance. Okay? responsibilities versus you know your sort of free time energy stay focused on that keep your health up stay active stay happy ah, it's a change up of energy uh you could have uh, someone around you that feels like they missed this opportunity there could be a sort of counter offer here to um collective Someone does not want to see you go. You got this promotion because of uh, what you did. So once you're sort of out of that equation, uh, collective, it definitely changes things up. This definitely feels like a work energy, life energy. Because you're definitely going to have to be mindful of your commitments versus your free time. Counter offer energy. I don't think a lot of you are going to stay put. I think you're ready to try something new. You're ready to try something new. Why the fuck not? If this is dealing with relationships and partnerships, some of you are ready to try something new in that area. Uh, you're ready to, so maybe some of you want to start dating. Maybe some of you are ready to get out there. This feels more sort of grounded energy. Uh, a major life change that brings about good energy. Good job opportunity. But you got to be mindful there. That Capricorn with that Aquarius energy. That's like work-life uh, separation. Probably going to be a lot more of a, a commitment for a lot of you. Maybe not what you're used to. More responsibilities. We got Libra energy. Four swords. Knight of Cups. There's a really good balance energy coming in. That's Six of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Five of Pentacles. This makes sense because you kind of switch up a lot of things here with that sort of tower energy. There is a disconnect. You're definitely moving up, changing up. Uh, new opportunities, new relationships, new partnerships. This counter offer for a lot of you. I don't know. You're very dependent depended upon uh collective someone's gonna miss you when you go ten of cups page of cups ten of swords ten of wands 
Three of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. New opportunities, new sights to see. Uh, definitely could be some travel in here. Museums. Some of you could like the sort of Egyptian history. Uh, gemologist. Crystals. Two of Swords. Six of Cups. This is a change up of energy for you, collective. Choose you. Choose this like uh, beautiful, sunny energy. Hmm. But what have you been given to that's kept you stuck? That speaks on that Capricorn energy as well. King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Eight of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles. Unable to move forward. It's kind of, you know, it's a good situation, but it's just sort of complacency. There's a complacency energy. Five of Cups, Strings, the Eight of Cups. There's no more sentimentality. Uh, so you've been proactive in this. Uh, you've been out there looking, figuring out what you want to do. Putting in applications, resumes, Nine of Cups, Queen of Wands, Five of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Queen of Cups. This is like Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz, only a lot of you, you know where you're going down that yellow brick road. Uh, you've been focusing on this. This isn't so much luck as it is You've sort of brought about this change. You've brought about this change. There's nothing serendipitous about this. You've been focusing on this. You've been focusing on this. Four of Wands, the Moon, Seven of Wands, the Hierophant, Ten of Pentacles. Some of you could have been paying attention to your astrology. You got this balanced energy coming in. This King of Cups of this Five of Swords feels like allowing that change to sort of happen. Five of Swords is that sort of disconnect energy. So your feelings, your emotions aren't really getting the best of you right now. This is you focusing on positive energy. Some of you are definitely paying attention to your astrology on this. Mm. I don't feel like there's a lot of sentimentality here, though, for you. I don't feel like there's a lot of sentimentality going on. Hmm. Making that change. Making that change. Healthy boundaries, though. For a lot of you, I think that's the sort of uh, opportunity here. Work energy, obligations versus personal life. Focusing on you. So this is a healthy balance. Work life. Some of you actually scheduling time to sort of keep that balance in. That's what allows that change. That's what brings in that balance. Mm. Prevents you from getting too overly emotional or uh, stuck. So you have a good sort of release energy here. Higher font, seven of wands, the moon. Some of y'all, this could have to do with your astrology. I'm not an astrologist, but some of you could definitely be focusing on your astrology. Fourth house energy. Mm, look at that. 
Oh, I love this for you, Collective. Love it, love it, love it. Definitely keep yourself balanced and focused, though. New opportunities, work-life balance. Work-life balance. Oh. Peace, love, and light. Good luck, God bless.